Hello, welcome to This Week on 4 on RTC TV. I'm Scott Sager, and today our guest is Gordon Bose. Gordon is the director of the Literacy, Literacy Coalition, I'll say that again, uh, at the Fulton County Library. Um, Literacy Coalition does a lot of things. Uh, they get a lot of notoriety for their annual Spell Bowl, which was covered live on RTC TV this year. So we wanted to get Gordon in here to talk about what else happens over there at the library and see uh, what he's been up to lately. So, well, welcome, Gordon. It's a Thank pleasure you. to have you here today. What, uh, what are some of the things that happen over there at the Literacy Coalition? Well, the, the, uh, the main thrust of the Literacy Coalition is really to work with adults and help them learn to read better and to help uh, non-English speaking adults learn to speak and use our language better. Excellent. I've, um, since coming to uh, the, the coalition, I've tried to give, uh, add emphasis to working with the, uh, the children in uh, the various agencies, thinking that if we catch them early, yeah. maybe we won't have them later. Right, absolutely. Absolutely. So Get them young. Trade right. Trade right. Absolutely. That's right. So you're working with non-English speaking yes. uh, population here in Fulton County, as well as those who are, um, let's not say illiterate, but, um, you know, not very literate. Mm -hmm. need, need some, of the, some of those folks that, that we're talking about right uh, now, uh, some of them are working under GEDs. Great. And they just missed out on some opportunities for sure. lots of different reasons, yeah. and they're trying to uh, still make up for it yeah. and get that uh, you, the you diploma. Gotta, you got to applaud the folks going back to right. GEDs. Uh, life happens, things get in yeah. the way, but uh, it takes a lot of courage to go back. That's right. They and have uh, other obligations now, and yeah. like you said. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Um, working with both those populations. Talk to us about the kids. Uh, what improvements have you seen? You've been doing this for a while. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I'm <laughs> 16 or 17 years uh, already, and uh, but what we do is actually provide uh, new books for the children in the programs such as Head Start at Akron and Rochester, Healthy Families, uh, WIC, uh, Compassionate Care, uh, Rochester, the Woodlawn Newborns. Uh, United Ministries Outreach, and uh, then we've been started giving books to the pediatricians okay. for while well, they're waiting for their doctor's appointments, and have books available. Great. Nearly all the books are brand new. However, when we change books at the library, maybe we get new ones and move some older ones out. Children's books, I take those to to the pediatricians also. Okay. Now, do you uh, need any donations of books, or or do you just need maybe even donations of, of money so that you can buy more books. How's uh -huh. that work? Uh -huh. This, I think we're in a very special situation where people have, have really supported the Literacy Coalition. Great. And uh, I think they see the need to, to help the, the children. So when we have a spell bowl or a tug of war or a garage sale, um, they've supported it in addition to just donations from sororities, organizations, and individuals. Right. They've, they've been great in supporting. So I, I, it's hard, it would be hard for me to say uh, we have all the money we need. <laughs> <laughs> Never enough. But, but by the same token, we've been real blessed. Excellent. Well, uh, we live in a great community, uh -huh, very right. supportive community. And uh, yourself as an educator, and, and you know, my wife is a children's librarian uh -huh. over at Columbia. And uh, for the educators that are out there, they all know that education is truly the, sil or the uh, silver bullet uh -huh. that can really change the world. And uh, you're doing it one book and one person at a time, so I, I commend I'm you. I'm trying. Uh -huh. uh, talk to me about the Spell Bowl. This was the first year that RTC has covered the Spell Bowl. We covered it live, and uh, some of the words uh, seemed rather difficult for some uh -huh. of the teams. Uh, the Sentinel team and, and Val over there uh, really pulled through and, and came out uh, champions. But how long have you been doing the Spell Bowl itself? I think this was our 15th year. 15th year for the Spell Bowl. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And uh, 36 teams, is that what you had 36 this year? 36 teams this year. That's the most. We had 36 teams and, and four uh, donors. Sometimes a, 
an organization will uh, maybe not muster up a team or right. no one interested or whatever, but they still want to support. So they, they just send in a registration fee, which is, you know, it's very, it's great also. Absolutely, we, absolutely. We'd rather, we'd rather have them join the fun, right. but by the same token, we're thankful. Well, they had a lot of fun there that uh, night, for mm -hmm. sure. A lot of people yep. uh, joking around, having a good time. Mm -hmm. A little friendly competition, if you will. Um, another thing that you guys have done, uh, the Round Barn Festival. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, in fact, we, we did some footage on this. That was the tug of war. Mm -hmm. A big success, at least from the fan standpoint. Uh -huh. uh, you had a lot of people standing around watching, uh -huh. a lot of teams involved. Uh -huh. Um, how'd that come about? Where'd the idea of, hey, let's do a tug of war to raise some money? Was that your well, idea? Well, it's just my idea okay. of trying to think of different things, you know, to, I'm not, I'm not real good at trying to sell candy or <laughs> cards or something. <laughs> We've all been hit as up with far that. As, you know, so I just thought it would be a good thing to do and something different and tie in with, you know, the old days, the Round Barn Festival and the, maybe a games that they used to play and yeah. so forth. Well, that's a great idea, and it was so, well received for sure. So we don't know what we'll do with it next year for sure. You know, without the Round Barn, there's, you know, Chili Supper and Fulton Day Fun Days and whether we'll, you know, continue it or not. But right. the, 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 the people, the participants had fun doing it. Yeah. And... Uh, it's just another, I think, a nice different thing to do. Yeah. So you've been doing this 16 years. Any estimates on how many people have come through your program or how many people that you've personally touched through this program and your works? Well, not really. Of course, if we would start thinking about all the books we've given out to these children, well, we'd get into some pretty big numbers. Yeah. Um, as far as uh, adults, our, our adult uh, learners, has the number is really uh, uh, it, it kind of changes the most we've ever had at one time and then no that's not your question but mm -hmm. the most we've ever had at one time is 52 wow. and that was we, we we had some classes going on like in Akron and where there might be 20 people in a class but uh, since then I mean that's the only time we've ever had those kinds of numbers right. we're used we more often we're operating around Oh, from 15 to 30. Okay. And so, you, you know, doing the math with eight, 16, 17 right, years right. of that, why that's, Five, that's the, adult, the adults mm -hmm. that, we've, that we've touched. That's and amazing. And hopefully helped. That's amazing. Well, um, what, you know, you, you got the opportunity here to talk to the people in Rochester. Are there needs that you currently have, whether it's uh, more programs, volunteers, books, donations? What, okay. what can we do to help you? I would say the number one thing that would help our program and help the most people would be to have more learners. In other words, uh, st uh, when we can look at st statistics and, and, and find out the education levels in Fulton counties and all the different counties, but there are, there are uh, many more people in Fulton County, it appears to me, that could profit by improving their reading. So uh, the challenge that I see and the most, the biggest need that I see is encouraging those folks, whether it be a relative or an employer or uh, maybe another person in the family, to encourage them to come over to the library and uh, to talk to me and, and see, if, you know, see if we can help. Of course, everything we do is free, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be materials or time or anything, it's free. And we try to, to go, of course, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, tutoring. So that number one is more learners. Great. That's great. number one. So encourage your, your friends. You, you know somebody out there who could use some help with their reading skills. Or learning our language. Yes. Um, learning English is a second language, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know some folks that could benefit from that. The program is here. It's in Fulton County. It's well, uh, well prepared and well uh, executed by Gordon and, and the volunteers over there. So please, I encourage you to uh, have folks go over, learn about the program. We understand that it can be intimidating, but uh, it will really benefit them and in the end benefit this community. And Gordon, from everybody at RTC, we mm -hmm. want to thank you for what you do, the Spell Bowl and all that you do. And uh, if there's anything we can do to help, please just okay. let us know. Well, thank you for inviting me today. And uh, 
I, I hope our folks that are, that are watching will maybe give some extra thought to maybe there is someone out there that I could uh, refer for help. Excellent, so. excellent. Well, again, I'm Scott Sager. I'm here with Gordon Bose from the Fulton County Public Library Literacy Coalition. We encourage everybody to uh, enjoy your local public library. And thank you again for watching RTC TV.